Hey dude, I just watched your video um, about a chess pal piece. I just want to show you, I think, a better way to do it. So, don't need really have to like, go high poly, then come low poly again. Makes no sense actually. So, let's go. I create a circle with just eight vertices. I'm trying to keep it really low poly, but you can go high poly if you want. I use it just as a reference, so I not to worry too much to actually fit this. As nobody sees this bottom face, I'll delete it. Delete it. And what you have now is this. Then I put it as smooth. And what now is what I want to show you. You can just mark the, the edges you want, like sharp. Then you mark them. It's pretty much it. Then you mark sharp. Okay, and then here you can add a split, just sharp edges. And what you have here. Is your edges marked? So 
So here you kind of really really low poly, it's like 169 faces. Actually talking about faces make no sense at all because um, what actually matters is the number of triangles. So try to keep a track not in the number of faces but the number of triangles and in this case it's 342. Yeah, it's pretty much fine. If you want anything more, more high poly than that, you can like subdivide it. You go to like thousand triangles. But even though it's not that bad and you have like really good mesh. I hope you like it. And um, you can export straight using edge split to Unity. And Unity you will understand by this method what is sharp edges and everything will be fine. Okay, hope you like it. See ya.